toothpick legs, chicken leg, hunchback, a flat screen. In school, I think, as I said, I was surrounded by a really solid group of friends and I had my girls, you know, to turn to whenever I needed. And I also had like my parents and even the teachers in my school were really, really nice. So I wouldn't say that I was bullied or anything. There was obviously like some teasing in school, you know, if you liked a boy, then they'd tease you with them or because I was very thin as I still am in school. So they'd make fun of like my toothpick legs or... Really? What yeah. did they say? Just like calling me chicken legs or toothpick legs or whatever, like stuff like that. And also I was very hairy in school. So they used to like, I used to have hair on my arms and all when I was young. So they used to make fun of that and all. So all those things, they used to call me hunchback because I used to have a slouch. But like, I feel like I always got through it because of my friends. I feel like that's yeah. where I derive my like positivity and my self-confidence from. But there used to be pictures of me with my parents because that time I wasn't an actor so you know I'd go out yeah. with my parents and stuff and as I said I was very thin, I didn't look you know people used to say I look like a boy, I'm like a flat screen, I look like all yeah. those kind of things. So I feel like at that time it did hurt because those are the years where you're forming your self-confidence and you know you're like you're learning to love yourself and then yeah. when you feel like someone else is pulling you down then it really just gets then you start doubting yourself you start doubting the way you look and everything I think when you get bullied too much you have a certain resistance to it and then it stops affecting you mm -hmm. then you are like Ki koi kuch bhi bole farak nahi padta. did you reach that point anytime in life? I feel like I'm reaching that point I feel like it's like an ongoing process. I can't say that it still doesn't hurt me because I feel like I am pretty thick-skinned and I am pretty strong because as you said, when it's been happening from such yeah. a young age, then you kind of develop that thick skin. But I feel like still one day, if you're not in the right frame of mind, if something happened at work and then on top of that, you see something, then it can hurt you. Like yeah. if I say that it doesn't hurt me, I'd definitely be lying because there are days when I'm like, but why? You know, what did I do that's like so wrong that people you know get it and I feel like when people attack your personality that's like the worst thing that someone can do yeah. because that's purely you. you that's like yourself you know yeah. so I feel like it does hurt when people say that oh her voice is so irritating oh why is she talking like this and there's like thousand people you know doing my mimicry and all and all of that stuff but I feel like you just have to develop a thick skin and just be as positive as you can be as mm. kind as you can be and make sure you don't let someone feel that way is what I feel like you can do you can't go and control other people's lives or their opinions and all of that stuff but you have to try to be that better person absolutely and the bigger person in absolutely. the situation subscribe and press the bell icon for more brute videos